So back in 2008, I actually had a motocross accident where I broke my tibia and my fibia. Knee protection has been a super important part of my riding ever since I started doing motocross back in the day. So back in 2008, I actually had a motocross accident where I broke my tibia and my fibia. I came down off of a tabletop jump, if you know what that is, guy rolling the jumps, I was jumping the jumps, he turned around and looked at me, of course your body pivots when you look. As he pivoted, he came underneath my motorcycle, I landed with my leg in between both of the bikes and snapped my tibia and fibia. Now the doctor said that I didn't actually tear the muscle lining that goes around your muscles and so it actually kept the bone in place and I didn't need surgery. I've broken a ton of bones in my life and uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but my arm is a little bit deformed, can't turn my hand fully over like this because of how many times I've broken my left arm, mostly on two wheels. So the more I think about it, I think that protection is super, super important. When I actually fell off my motorcycle, the doctor said that I kept that bone encased around the tissue and it didn't tear because of two key pieces of equipment that I was wearing. One was my knee brace and the other were my tech seven motocross boots. The knee brace actually keeps my leg from overextending. I don't have it here with me or I would show you guys, but I was wearing a knee brace at the time that keeps your knee from hyperextension and as well just kind of overall protects your knee. I've crashed many, many times with that knee brace and it saved my world, probably saved my knees in many, many instances flying off the motorcycle. That time, the combination of the two, it kind of focused everything into one area, but because they came down so far and they overlapped each other, it was encasing my leg really, really protected me. So if you're a motocross rider, your knees are going to thank you. So I currently ride with two different types of knee protection in my everyday motorcycle. Of course, this is a street bike, so we're not talking dirt bikes, but if you do ride dirt bikes, knee protection is also super important. And I would definitely look at investing in some really nice knee braces because knee braces will save you from hyperextension and just trashing your knees. So what I'm talking about here, mostly of what you're going to experience on the road is something kind of like an impact, right? Or skidding along the road. And so any kind of pants that are any kind of Kevlar reinforcement, this is a CE level two pad. And this came out of my sand three pants, which are great pants, but they are a bit too big and a bit too puffy. My wife calls them the, my astronaut pants because they just look so puffy on me. This is something that I ride more every day. These are from my Dainese motorcycle jeans. It's like a motorcycle denim. These are CE level one, I think what it's saying here. It's this is quite, I want to say flimsy, but at the same time, malleable. Maybe malleable is a better word. So basically, this is super comfortable and makes it really nice. When you're riding a motorcycle on something like this, it just doesn't really want to bend with your, not that your knee's going to go that way. <laughs> it doesn't really want to bend with you as much, and it's a little bit less comfortable when your knee is sitting right up in there over a long period of time. Something like this, though, in riding jeans is great because it does give you some protection on your knees, but it still allows you to have a lot of flexibility, and they're great to wear all day long if you're going to be going somewhere and then walking around the rest of the day and then just riding back in the evening. This is a great option, and it's so much better than just riding with nothing in your knees. Of course, you're not going to get the amount of protection from this that you will from this, but this is way better than nothing at all. I actually had my uncle have a really bad motorcycle accident where he tore up his legs really, really bad. His ankle actually got wrapped around the clutch lever on the left side of his bike and it was really, really rough. It was on his Harley. They thought they were gonna have to amputate from his ankle down and take his foot because it was so bad. They were able to put it back together, but um, that, was, that was really terrifying. And so protection is really, really important, guys. So these are two very different knee pads for very different applications. If you're looking for something with ultimate protection, maybe the CE Level 2 pre-shaped is something you'd want to go for. It's more rigid and less flexible, but it's going to give you a little bit more protection and it's going to wrap a little bit more around your knee. If you want something a little bit more for every day, that's going to allow you to have the maximum amount of flexibility, comfort, walking around, you're not going to feel it as much, and you're also not going to look like you have bionic knees as you're walking around, then this is going to be more something that you're looking into. If you're a motocross rider or a motorcycle rider, knee protection is super key. I actually have a picture that I'll show you now. This is me when I used to ride with almost no gear in tennis shoes and really, really stupid to me, really lucky that I didn't crash and hurt anything. These are both great pads, but with this, you do sacrifice quite a bit of protection. If you're going to have any large impact, this really just isn't going to do it at CE level one. The impact ratings on this thing is 
is quite flimsy. So if you want to get rid of this and get, get a SAS Tech level two protection, that's going to protect you heaps more than what you're getting with the level one at the Dainese. All right, so needless to say, I find knee protection very, very valuable, and I think it's something well worth the investment, whether you're getting something a little bit lighter that's more comfortable, or something that's a little bit more rigid but gives you the best protection you can buy. I think that it's definitely something you should be looking at. Of course, it depends on what kind of ride you're gonna be doing, and where you're gonna be going, if you're gonna be walking around quite a bit. These did come out of my Sand 3 pants, and this came out of my Dainese denim jean. Uh, I have to say, I paid almost $300 for their Sand 3 pants with this great protection in it, and I paid about 60 bucks on sale. I got these Dainese jeans with this protection, and honestly, I ride the Dainese jeans much more than I ride the Sand 3. So something I would say as a recommendation, if you're gonna be doing a lot of street riding and you're gonna be going out with your buddies and especially as summer is approaching very quickly, I would go with some kind of denim where you could get some decent uh, knee protection in there that's comfortable. After I'm done riding, if I'm walking around for a few hours, these never ever bother me and I love that about them. Here's my thing, are you getting the best protection with these? No, certainly not. Of course, you're getting much better protection with the CE Level 2. But the problem is, is if the pants that ride or the CE Level 2 is not comfortable and you never use it, what use is it anyway? That's why I like this padding here is because at least it's comfortable enough that it makes me want to put it on and ride with it. So I guess my recommendation really is get what you're going to wear the most. If you're only going to wear denim jeans when you go out and you really just want some kind of protection to kind of help you as much as you can but still keep you comfortable, get the one that's more comfortable. Get the denim jeans with the lower protection level because at least you'll wear it. It's much better than just going out in regular jeans and not wearing anything at all. But you do see people sometimes riding in jeans like this, which of course are not good anyways, and you're not getting any protection. They're comfortable, but you know, I'd much rather be riding with at least a little bit of something than nothing at all. So which one do you guys prefer to ride with? Which one do you find most value riding with? Are you riding CE level two most of the time? Or are you riding something a little bit more comfortable like this from the Dainese jeans? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Hey, thanks so much. We're about to hit 800 subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in and being a part of the journey. It's so much fun making these videos and talking to you as part of the community. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you're looking for in the future and really excited to reach that 1000 subscriber mark. We are almost there guys. So make sure you get yourself some nice knee protection and protect those knees. Ride safe and we'll see you on the pavement.